Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are working on week 27 in my 2023 project life. For this week I am using primarily my Ellie Edwards Story by the Month kit. Um, so this 4x6 card, these big floral die cuts, um, and that big uh, July Joys tag is also from that kit. Um, I just pulled an orange label from maybe Ellie Studio, probably. Um, and then I have these like colorful alpha stickers. I don't know where I got them from because they were just in my alpha sticker storage um, train. But I'm going to go ahead and spell out week 27. And this time I got the week correct. And then I'm going to add a puffy heart um, to break up the week in 27. I don't know why it's a little blurry down there, but um, I will show you close-ups of everything. Uh, this photo here is a, another shot of the sunset. Um, I can never get tired of it. Um, and yeah, I keep this one very simple. I'll have pictures over on um Instagram so you can see it a little better um so from left to right it's just a photo from 4th of July of me sitting outside relaxing reading my kindle this is a selfie um and I put a sticker a phrase that says beautiful with a little sparkle and then on that um far right it's a picture of the pool in the background me drinking my water that, um in like a tumbler that looks like a truly and eating some chips and then on that card with the five memories, I'm going to just go ahead and put that we celebrated 4th of July. I barbecued, we had Slurpees, um, hung out by the pool, and celebrated my um, niece and nephews, their triplets. We celebrated their birthday. So this photo here is just a photo of um, some Slurpees we got. And it just so happened that it was like red, white, and blue. So I had to take a picture of that. And then, of course, another grilling picture from 4th of July. These were Italian sausages, hot dogs, and then, like, lots of different veggies. And um, before filming, I did pull aside a couple matching puffy stickers and phrases um, just so I would have them at hand already. On to the next side. It is a photo of my son and my mom in the pool. She finally got in and actually started swimming. Uh, she's not, she doesn't really like pools, but, um, yeah, she enjoyed it. it. The water was so warm, um, without having to put the heater on. So it was nice to see them out there having fun. I sat in the Baja shelf area and just kind of like wet my legs and yeah. So, uh, here's a photo or two photos of my son trying a taco from Jack in the Box. Um, he's a very picky eater, so him wanting to try new things, I am here for it. It's not the healthiest, but you know what? It's better than nothing. Um, and yeah, so there's his close-up. Uh, the next set is on uh, the two photos on the left are photos from my niece and nephew's birthday. And then the far right is um, some wet-on-wet -wet watercolor that I just practiced with. And then that card says this chapter of my life is called, and then I put, a, I spell out new hobby, um, because I, I have been wanting to try watercoloring, even as, if it's just the basics, like I'm not trying to be an artiste at it, but just something fun to do as if I needed another hobby. But, um, it was very relaxing to sit outside in the, on the patio and just play with it um the photo on the far left is my son getting ready to hit the piñata and then the photo to the right is um the cake that they had so the bottom layer was uh, baby shark middle layer is little mermaid and the top was cars because i have um as i mentioned they're triplets so it's one girl two boys so there's a little bit of everything um and yeah, I'm just going to put this little label down and I'll put, uh, I'll write out triplets birthday. Keep that super simple. Mm -hmm. 
This next photo is again from that birthday party, but um, it's just like all a family together. So um, I put the sticker that says like this, and then I'll put the heart that's so like love this. Um, and again, I'm so sorry it's blurry, but when I bring it up close, it'll be clear. Uh, and I'm going to put this little label here that says mini reunion, I believe. Or mini family reunion. Yeah, mini reunion. And then I will put um, these little sparkle star things. And there we go. And then this one's going to be a flip up. So the top photo has my niece and nephew sitting in their chair, high chairs with their matching balloons for their theme. And then the inside of it, which is that like colorful Heidi swap paper. Um, we'll just hold that big flower die cut and that chipboard tie that says celebrating. And then this bottom photo here is a picture of each of them eating their cake. For the flap, I just use regular um, printer copy paper. I sometimes use cardstock, but um, I feel like this thinner paper actually works a little better. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and adhere this top down and um, get that top part situated. And then I'll go ahead and add this big floral die cut. And um, like I mentioned, the chipboard that says celebrating. Um, this week I am filming on a different device, so, um, lesson learned. I will double check <laughs> to make sure that it's all clear, um, the next time I record. Uh, but yes, this one here is done. I do have, um, an insert that we will be working on and it will have most of the photos from 4th of July. So here I'm just going to add these puffy hearts at the top. They're my favorite, like favorite, favorite. So there we go. So cute. And then here um, this top journaling card is also from Ellie Edwards and it says celebrating. And then I'm just going to journal how we just celebrated 4th of July at home with family, nothing crazy. We barbecued, watched fireworks from the backyard. This photo here is a photo of my cousin and his wife with my son and I. Um, that was earlier in the day on the 4th of July. So I put some puffy hearts and then I think it says cheers, the little phrase that I choose. The bottom sh the <laughs> bottom photo on the right side is my son and my cousin playing in the pool. And then on that left side, it's a shot of a pickleback shot. I believe that's what it's called. So you take bourbon whiskey or bourbon I don't know and then so you take a shot of that and then right after you take a shot of pickle juice and it automatically like cancels out any burning feeling of the shot it was amazing and I love pickle juice so here is the flip here and yeah thanks for watching um if you haven't done so already please consider liking and subscribing and I'll be seeing you soon friends bye